So I wanted to do a wee piece here about my skidding bar. I knocked this up the other day. Um, I had a scrap that was lying in the yard actually. Um, the T-bar that I'm using on a three-point linkage, I was actually a, um, an old bale spike that a friend gave me. Um, but because this top piece is so short, when it goes down, the top link pushes it over and it basically tips your bale off. So it was no use for a bale spike and it had been thrown on the scrap heap. And uh, I've been skidding my logs out, just dragging them with straps and chains. All, all the time because I, I'm picking up stone and dirt so I thought if I could just lift them off the ground make the world a difference to me so I've, I've put this together um, I've got some um, chain hooks so I've put three chain hooks on we've got a top link if I want to um, D-ring there if I want to pull anything a bit higher I've got my hook link there and with the use of this chain, um, I found that I can pull out three, three trees at a time, three logs at a time anyway. Um, I'm still using my draw bar at the back here if I pull down a tree or I need to pull out a full length tree that's stuck and is going to put a bit of load on. And that way I'm always pulling from the lowest point on my tractor. So I still use that for um, the heavy work and then up to three, up to three decent sized logs. Oh, that's mine. 30 footers on here, um, pulled just fine. Just here, I've got a two inch ball um, tow hitch, and the reason that's there is well, I found this in the shed as a single piece. But what I do have is a, an electric winch that drops on, it's a portable winch that drops on tow hitches for carrying in the back of your truck, whatever, and if you get stuck will just pull you back out or um, if you want to pull a load nearer the vehicle it will pull it off. Uh, it will pull full weight of a, a car so it's, it seems big enough to do the job but it can sit on there and it can draw logs in once I've got a couple on I can pull a third in or I can pull in from the sides and it's proved really useful for that and I'll put that on and show you in a separate video. But basically it drops on there I just run the leads through to the battery and it works off a wired remote control. So, uh, so that's really good. But this is proving just to be such a handy little piece of kit um, for nothing more than uh, an hour or so's welding and uh, a lick of paint. There, you wouldn't believe it. It's getting a bit knocked about already this season. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not the heaviest duty thing, but it certainly serves to for a small horsepower tractor. This is only uh, what is it, David Brown 1490 this is so it's I think it's 82 horsepower um, and uh, and it's proving you know just the job gets the front ends off they're only dragging on that little bit at the far far back um, and it's saving my saws and it's saving the timber a bit Some of the bigger stuff that I'm pulling out I'm going to be putting through my sawmill which I'll also be doing videos on uh, later on 
but uh, just for now while it's this dry weather I'm just hauling out as much firewood as I can so I thought I'd just show you that uh, while it was on there.